Are you serious? Are you serious? I have received information very pertinent to the security of the United States of America. I will not reveal this source. Absolutely never. But believe me, the information I'm going to share with you is to help you pray for America and also to be on your toes and understand the seriousness of the world we live in. This is information from a very reliable in the know source. Let's talk about China and their threat to the United States of America's security. The US is beefing up our long range, our long range strike capability in PACAF, moving additional B-1 bombers into Australia and more 52 B-52 bombers into Guam. Additional RC-135VW missions are occurring as often as the agency can fly them to try and find holes in the Chinese air defense coverage. Note, their FD-2000 is coming online rapidly, replacing their older Soviet-made C-75s. They are old. And so the S-300 defense system, uh, okay, so basically they are better equipped than ever before. They've replaced their old Soviet-style defense missile systems with the new ones. Uh, China's cyber forces outnumber the United States cyber forces 500 to 1. They are much more sophisticated than ever before. They proved this the night of the Super Bowl at the Superdome a couple of years ago. It's not what the media has told you. By the way, the Chinese have three basic types of cyber forces. Network attack slash defense, also network warfare, and finally their other forces, which is ran by their CIA equivalent called the Ministry of State Security, or MSS. The last group are their super cyber brains. They are very good, the MSS. They are currently targeting the U.S. Uh, SCADA, or Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition. Data which is used in all of our electrical power grids, water systems, and infrastructure. If they can hack into that, and they have tested and been successful, if they can hack into our power grid, their first move in this peer-to-peer -peer war would be to turn off our power. They have been probing us weekly, if not daily, hitting the VA, the OPM, and the IRS over and over, getting personal data on all military vets and others. They use this to target key personnel on social media and military personnel that can be reached by their field operatives, mostly girls located around uh, the U.S. military bases in the Pacific. And when he's talking about, he used the term sexy girls, so he's talking about some of the uh, attractive women that are around the military bases. They're using them to get to the military personnel. China has also built 9,000 amphibious landing crafts since 2015. So they are prepping for the invasion of either Taiwan, Japan, or their boldest move, an EMP over the United States and Japan. Number two, cause an international economic chaos. They drop special forces into Alaska, followed up by a large invasion force. Not feasible, you say? We think it's possible. Just like the German generals who wargamed the D-Day invasion, instead of uh, they invaded Normandy. Hitler did not listen to him. Nevertheless, we use three Cray, C-R-A-Y, Cray, supercomputers to play the role of the Chinese and or Russians during our war games. China, if they go nuclear or EMP, 
or SCADA attacks. It's hard to beat unless we go nuclear. Nevertheless, this is on the Pentagon's mind as we begin our war game series. And so he's letting me know that there's going to be war games, a series of them that's going to be initiated by the military. And you may be seeing some of that right now. Now, last year, the military let, let it slip, let it leak. There was what was called Jade Helm. And people picked up on it everywhere. This year, they've decided not at all to reveal what they're doing. And so that's why you had just last night and the day before, you had helicopters and they did a fake invasion of Tampa Bay, Florida here in the last, whatever it was, in the last 48 hours. Here in Indiana, they did, without giving anybody a clue, with, within blocks of the largest FEMA camp in all of America, and, and that's in Beach Grove, Indiana, which is a suburb of Indianapolis, they dropped helicopter, black helicopters come in, they dropped men out of the sky, there were explosions, there was rifles being fired, shots everywhere, waking up the entire neighborhood, people were panicking because they thought maybe this was an actual invasion of America. These types of war games are going to be going on in different places of the country as the military is working on their operational issues on how to literally take over our own cities, if need be. So with this information, I just give you about China. This is a very powerful inside information. This is, but this is not any of what was I just told you puts anybody in jeopardy or in danger. It's letting you know the situation that China is working on and what the minds of the Pentagon are thinking on how to stop it. I'll give you more uh, probably next Monday. I'll probably give you some more on another nation and their threat to the United States of America. I have several. I'll bring them to you slowly. God bless. Are you serious? Because I am very serious. And believe me, the enemy is extremely serious. Pray for America. Pray for the United States of America. Pray for all of our military personnel in uniform. In Jesus' name. Are you saved? Christ is coming soon. Give your life to Jesus Christ. He's coming soon.